Hey y'all, this is the Grand Celestial here to today to sh show you more, more from the game of Atari's Greatest Hits Volume 1. In the la last video, I got I made, made some discussions about, about the, the new game uh, for the Dead Diaz that came out not too long ago. So, uh, the, this game card supposed to hold uh, 50 of Atari's classic games, including a set of special game, which I'm gonna save for last. Right, right now, I'm gonna play Centipede. Okay, the controls are, as you see, is uh, to move is the uh, left and right on the control pad and A or R and L's to uh, fire. All right, the objective for this game is to shoot that stupid centipede before any of the parts have touch you. Also, watch out for those spiders; they get in your way. Yeah, that centipede moves in a linear pattern. It goes from left or right. Alright. I mean, uh, looking back at this, it's kind, of, it's kind of like playing Space Invaders. Man, I'm having trouble shooting these things. It's not nice that you get the option to shoot repeatedly. Just keep tapping the buttons. It's, this game is partly a button ma masher, depending on how you play it. Okay, the how the seven peeps move. They, as I said, they move uh, back and forth. Four left. They hit uh, something along the way. They just Keep descending. I'm probably uh, guessing the uh, it's a bird's eye view from from an, when you look at this from an angle. And those uh, little th things uh, lo that look like trees could be destroyed. Okay, so, so far the, this game is pre pretty fun, yeah, it gets uh, boring after a while, but it isn't too, too bad. Gravitar. The, this one, this one's really confusing. The instructions to play is, uh, the left and right to rotate, X or R is to thrust, A is to fire, or B is for shield or tractor. Alright, Gravitar. Defenders of the galaxy. Alright. So I cut. This game kind of reminds me of Asteroids. Okay, uh, it looks like yeah, you have to nav navigate through a pu puzzle. Yeah, the the shooting sound sound effects sound re really good. However, the controls I really can't get the fe feel for it when. When I'm tra trying to na navigate through a, a narrow passageway. Oh, I don't know how that happened. Okay, it's kind of like... The, the way I navigate, it's kind of like well, when you go into these little warp, warp zones. Eh, well, what I like to call them. Eh, 
they will warp you to uh, some uh, obscure uh, place where everything is a death trap. I really don't have uh, any idea how to play this. I mean, like, play this re really well. Uh oh, the final confrontation. Yeah, get out of my way. Yeah. Get out of my way, dude. Oh, the. Yeah, now I get how that happens. It's if you can get in a collision with somebody. Okay, gotta be careful here. Yeah, everything. Oh, I suck at this. Okay, the the concept for this game is a little interesting, but it's really really hard. I I pro could probably get I guess all of you could do a lot better. So if you like something that's a little challenging, I look into Gravitar. Here is Lunar Lander. Okay, how to play is uh, increase throttle with e with X, abort is A, decrease throttle is B, game select is Y, and rot and to move around and rotate is the left and right directional. Let's see, training mission, like gravity, friction, cadet mission. Well, the selection is con is random. So let's start off with tra training mission. I had no no idea deal what what to do when I first play this. Like, uh, am I supposed supposed to land somewhere along here? I mean, the game load looks ra rather uh, boring already. I think you're supposed to get uh, points for landing in a particular spot. Like, the, there are these numbers with the multiplier saying if you land in that spot, you get like two points. So I'm uh, trying to land in a spot where I get like five points. Auxiliary fuel tanks destroyed. So I earn, earn five points. Okay, there's another area where you could earn four four points. It's not nice how they keep track of your time and how your how high your score is. Also, there's a limit to how much fuel fuel you can use. Yeah, they, if you use up too much fuel, fuel they immediately tell you that. You are low on fuel, so you have to make use of whatever fuel you have left. Why for a first play, play this, I I tried take, taking control, control by having the by t turning the ignition on and and before I knew, knew it, I was already running low on fuel. Oh, I gained five points for that. So, all you get, to, you get to open the options menu with the select. I'm gonna try to try another mode for for the next video. Until the next time, well. Do cadet mission. See ya.